of sides to, to, to what we have with you know, great attacking performances, five and six goals. Today we showed another side here where we've played against a side with a fantastic home record. I think only second to ours, I think so, someone said. And uh, boy, have we had to work hard and everyone had to dig in, everyone had to work their socks off on what can only be described as a really, really heavy pitch. You can see it from here, really difficult conditions away from home. I think we a little bit rusty, if I'm honest, um, because of, of, of the amount of games that we've played. But when we need to dig, when we needed to dig in, we dug in. And to be honest, I thought the players were fantastic. It's uh, another side of, of the game that we have to be able to do, dig in and grind results out. And we've done it fantastically well today. And uh, you got off to a good start as well, Andre netting inside 10 minutes. It was a good finish, albeit the keeper got a touch, it still went in at the far post. Yeah, Andre's come up with two goals uh, today. He worked his absolute socks off. He, I think he'd run out of petrol at the end, if I'm being honest. Um, but I think all over the pitch, I thought Paul Benson like led the line. I thought unbelievable that midfield worked tirelessly. Uh, two centre-halves, Fraser's first game. I thought he'd come in and done a terrific job. And uh, when we needed a save, Mark come up with, with some saves. And you know what? I look through the season so far, and Mark's you know, he's had a really, really good season. But maybe sometimes quiet. You know, he's pulled off the, you know, some good saves, but, quite, but he's had to be on his metal today. And I thought that that's the mark of a top-class goalkeeper. That he's, you know, not had a fantastic amount to do over a certain amount of games, and today he's produced some some really top class saves. I mean, let's just highlight those saves. He's had a, a quiet game because he didn't have a lot to do, but then suddenly he's tipped one over the bar from a close range header, yeah. and immediately followed that up. I said in commentary, how did he get to the ground when the shot's only a yard away? Absolutely. You can have to forgive me this because my thought was ain't having a baby. So hold on a second. <laughs> well, just uh, ad lib for a moment or two. Li live on here. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost it. Oh, all right, I have to go back to it. Sorry, she went back if it's double urgent. Sorry. Go on. Um, sorry, we were talking oh. about Mark's fantastic save. I mean, he got from standing to ground, and the shot was no more than a yard or so away from him. No, absolutely. Um, done brilliant, mate. Done, done fantastic. I'm so, I'm really, really pleased. Really proud of the players. Proud of everyone. You know, the whole lot. Everyone. You know, I've been working hard when the, the times have been difficult uh, with the weather. Um, and we've just had to work our socks off in training and, you know, sometimes not on the best conditions. But lots, you know, I'm not saying we're any different from anyone else, but, you know, only concern with us. And um, all that hard work really has come to fruition uh, this evening. I mean, obviously, everybody that's travelled was very grateful the game's gone ahead after two <laughs> inspections. Even more grateful we've picked up three points. But you, you look at that pitch now, as you mentioned there, it is so cut up, it's muddy. You know, the, the players are going to have tired legs. They've put in yeah. a real work rate in tonight. Absolutely, I think the, the order of the day is rest now, so we'll be resting today, uh, tomorrow, and uh, we'll come in Thursday, but warm down and prepare for the next one. I mean, after a, a gap that we've had in force because of postponements and that, it's difficult to perhaps get going again, but the players are eager to play. You said that in your... Yeah, in your... I mean, everyone wants to play and we want to play, but as I say, it was really, really you know, difficult travelling down today, not knowing whether we were going to play. You try and keep the mindset right and players focused. But when it mattered, as I said, you know, they've produced it and uh, I'm delighted with it. Now, you always say you can only control the controllers. Yes, I do. But you'll also be aware that uh, the yes, team I in am. second place have uh, lost tonight. That adds icing onto the cake? Of course it does, absolutely. You know, but this is football and lots of things change and sometimes change quickly, you know. You know, not sort of going overboard about other teams. It's been a good night for us and I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased for that. And certainly 400 plus fans on the terrace that looked on and uh, supported the side. Brilliant. Brilliant, as I always do, as I always do. And I think that, you know, sometimes I think for supporters that's a, a better performance than when you outplay teams and rattle in three, fours and fives because they're seeing everyone absolutely at their maximums, giving a bit for the club and uh, that's fantastic. And it's a case of back down to Kenilworth Road on Saturday, investment in uh, pitch covers, albeit on loan at the moment, I understand. Yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed at the right Saturday. Lovely, thanks very much Thank for your you. time, John. Thanks very much.